Hi everyone, it's good to be with you. Uh, it's Wednesday. Hopefully this video will get out today or tomorrow. Um, we miss you and are looking forward to getting together more. Looking forward to a couple of weeks just again. I want to assure you that we're doing everything we can to make our coming back together um, safe. You know, a lot of churches are beginning to come back together. We still want to wait a couple of weeks um, to see how things play out and to figure out how to do it in a way that that um, is safe, but at the same time uh, where we can get together in worship. So looking forward to that. And now I want to ask you a question as we think about today, a little devotional. How valuable do you feel like you are to, to God? How important do you feel like you are to your Heavenly Father? Compare yourself to someone like Billy Graham or to, um, you know, uh, John Calvin or some great saint. Do you feel as valuable as, as they might be to God? Well, that's what I want to talk about. We are very valuable to God, our Heavenly Father. And to show that, to illustrate that, I want us to think about a word, and the word is ransom. You know what a ransom is. In the olden days, it was to, say, buy back a slave or to pay the price for a family member who might have been kidnapped in a battle or something like that. Now, when we think of ransom, we think of kidnapping, don't we? And so ransom, a ransom is the value, say, assigned by the kidnapper the price that they want to be paid to give back the one that they've kidnapped. So the value is the price. Does that make sense? Well, the word ransom reminds me of a story I read as a child by O. Henry. Great little story called The Ransom of Reggie. And it's the story of two uh, hobos who were making their way down south. And to get some extra money, they decided that they would kidnap someone. So they made their way to a sleepy little town in Alabama, and they picked the son of a wealthy uh, banker, mortgage um, lender, uh, the only child. The father's name was Ebenezer, and the son's name was Johnny Dorset. So it's fairly easy to make the kidnapping, and they did so and took the child to um, the cave where they're staying a few miles away. Well, boy, they got a lot more than they had bargained for. Little Johnny was a terror. He was bedraggling, these, harassing these kidnappers so much more than they'd bargained for. Let me just read a little bit. Part of the story says this. Just at daybreak, I was awakened by a series of awful screams from Bill. That's one of the kidnappers. They weren't yells or howls or shouts or whoops or yelps, such as you expect from a manly set of vocal organs. They were simply indecent, terrifying, humiliating screams. It's an awful thing to hear a strong, desperate, fat man screaming in a cave at daybreak. I jumped up to see what the matter was. Red Chief was sitting on Bill's chest with one hand twined in Bill's hair. The other, he had a sharp case knife we used for slicing bacon. And he was industriously and realistically trying to take Bill's scalp according to the sentence that he had pronounced upon him the evening before. That's just an example of how Red Chief was a handful. So they made the note. And they sent it by mail. And they arranged it by saying that to Ebenezer, the father, if you pay us $1,500, we will return your child within three hours after we have received your money. They sent the letter. And they waited. And they saw that the letter had been found. And they also saw that the response had been placed in the mailbox. And they gathered the response and went back to the cave, the response from little Johnny's father. And here's what the response that, his father, that, is, that was given by his father. Here they are expecting to be counting $1,500. Instead, gentlemen, I receive your letter today by post in regard to the ransom you asked for the return of my son. I think that you're a little high in your demands. And I hereby make you a counter proposition, which I'm inclined to believe that you will accept. You bring Johnny home and you pay me $250 in cash and I'll agree to take him off your hands. 
You'd better come at night, for the neighbors believe he is lost. And I couldn't be responsible for what they would do to anybody they saw bringing him back. Very respectfully, Ebenezer Dorset. We got the letter and they were bewildered. They couldn't believe it, but they began to think about what had gone on with this little Johnny Dorset in the last few days. And one of the hobos said to the other, you know, $250 isn't too much. So they agreed to it. They brought him back. They knocked on the door. And rather than being counting the money, they counted the $250 and they gave it to Ebenezer, who peeled his son Johnny from one of the kidnappers. And off the kidnappers took, across the fields and across the plains, getting out of the way as fast as they son because they could because they didn't want his son to follow him. What a wonderful, crazy story. But here's the point. The ransom, the price that they had paid, they were wanting $1,500. But instead, the value had changed, yet that was the value. We are valuable to God. Why? Because Mark chapter 10 says this. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. You know who the many are? It's the people that respond to the gospel. It's the people that God the Father had given God the Son. You see, God sets the ransom price. We have been ransomed by the Son from the wrath of God. God set the ransom. He set the value. He set the price the price on us to be delivered, to be ransomed from the penalty of sin. And the value of that ransom, because of what God's word says, was the son, Jesus Christ. That was the ransom. That was the value. So we are as valuable to God as his son is to him. We may not always feel like it, but that's a wonderful truth to show how important we really are to God. Jesus died as a ransom. We are very, very important to our Heavenly Father, equally in importance as His Son is. I hope this encourages you. Have a great day. Take care.